Have you ever come across people who simply can't cope with your indifference? Ignoring someone can be a challenging task, but it's a skill that can be developed to deal with toxic, provocative, or simply unwanted people in your life. Have you ever felt exhausted by the negative energy of the people around you? Or even by all the information and boasting on social media? Imagine a life where you can rise above the noise, fully embracing the strength and peace that comes from being chosen. Ignoring those who depress you can bring real benefits, such as reduced stress, better concentration, and a deeper connection with your true self. The importance of learning to ignore negative people is crucial to protecting your mental health and personal growth. When we encounter people who criticize, show off, belittle, or drain our energy, it can be extremely challenging to maintain our emotional well-being. However, mastering the art of ignoring can help us preserve our energy and focus on what really matters. By learning to ignore these negative and empty people, you protect yourself from the harmful effects of their words and actions. Remember that other people's negativity reflects their own insecurities and problems, not yours. Adopting this perspective frees you from the need for validation and helps you avoid unnecessary doubt or blame. By choosing where to direct your attention, you protect your mental health and avoid negative influences. Think of the story of Noah in the book of Genesis. Noah was commissioned by God to build an ark to survive a global flood, a mission he carried out with determination, despite the ridicule of those around him. People mocked him because they couldn't imagine such an event happening, reflecting the corruption and moral decay of Noah's time. Even so, Noah remained faithful to his divine mission and, when the flood came, he saved all the species on board. This story shows how ignoring widespread disbelief and derision allowed Noah to fulfill his divine task and save his family and countless animals. In today's world, we are bombarded with opinions, especially online. Anonymous voices often try to influence our thoughts and decisions. For example, Someone might criticize your lifestyle or beliefs in a comment on social media. Although some advice can be useful, relying too much on the opinions of others diminishes our autonomy. Embracing your inner guidance, like that of the chosen ones, is crucial to making authentic decisions. Trusting your inner voice, rather than society's expectations or external advice, leads to a more fulfilling and lighter life. As they say, what I should do is my business, not what people think. This rule, equally arduous in real and intellectual life, can serve for the whole distinction between greatness and meanness. This is quite difficult because you will always find those who think they know their duty better than you do. By ignoring negativity, you can focus on what really matters. It means spending less time worrying about other people's judgments and more time pursuing your goals. Imagine not feeling stressed by negative comments and instead using that energy to work on your personal projects or spend quality time with your loved ones. Embracing this mindset helps you reclaim your power and walk with confidence in your divine purpose, feeling more at peace and in control of your life. As chosen ones, you may often encounter people with controlling personalities who invade your space, believing they know what's best for you. These individuals can be ruthless, offering unsolicited advice and insisting that your way is the only right way. Their constant interference can be exhausting and sap your energy, making it difficult to focus on your own path. What's more, you may face people who are perpetually dramatic, always convinced that their problems are more important or that their illnesses are more serious than anyone else's. These individuals tend to create a cloud over your life. These individuals tend to create a cloud of negativity, diverting attention away from productive and positive activities. Their constant need for validation and sympathy can drain your emotional resources, making you feel depleted and overwhelmed. 
Then there are the pessimists and defeatists, who are always in a bad mood and rarely express gratitude. These people can cast a shadow over even the brightest days, always finding something to complain about or a reason why things won't work out. Their negative outlook can be contagious, potentially leading you into a similar state of despair if you're not careful. So how do you deal with it? As chosen, maintaining emotional distance is essential. This doesn't mean ignoring what the person is saying, but rather using a filter so that any criticism or advice doesn't affect you directly. An effective way to achieve this is to listen to what they have to say and then mentally reconstruct their statements in a positive way. You can do this internally or, depending on the situation, you can even externalize it to the negative person in question, showing yourself that the message can be conveyed in a lighter and more constructive way. For example, if someone makes a harsh criticism, rephrase it internally, focusing on any useful feedback and discarding the negativity. This helps you protect your emotional well-being and stay centered on your purpose. This technique allows you to engage with other people without being dragged down by their negativity, ensuring that you remain aligned with your divine mission and inner peace. If the intrusion becomes overwhelming, it may also be wise to avoid sharing your dreams and future plans with these people. Negative people often seek out generous and supportive individuals as their chosen ones, who then become their punching bags through constant criticism and intrusive advice. The opinions of others can provide valuable food for thought. However, as chosen ones, it is essential to recognize that these external voices are no match for our inner guidance. Ignoring others, especially those inclined to tell us how to live and think, allows us to better listen to our inherent self. It's not about isolating ourselves physically, but about remaining true to our inner voice, even when surrounded by the noise of others. In today's world, technological advances have made our lives easier in many ways. Communication, for example, has been revolutionized. People all over the world can now contact us through various means, from traditional letters and phone calls to the instant connectivity of messaging apps and video calls. Our online presence on various social media platforms makes us even more accessible. While our interactions were once limited to those around us physically, the digital age has brought the whole world to our doorstep, constantly knocking for our attention. The smartphone has become an extension of the human body, providing an inexhaustible source of stimuli. Day and night, this device bombards us with messages and notifications giving us access to unlimited information in seconds. For many, this unprecedented and abnormal amount of human noise has disturbed their inner peace. Numerous studies suggest that social media use contributes to psychological problems. A study published by the U.S. National Library of Medicine shows that excessive use of social media is currently the second leading cause of psychological impairment. Social media use is strongly correlated with the development of anxiety and other psychological problems, such as depression, insomnia, stress, decreased subjective happiness, and feelings of mental deprivation. This study highlights how immersion in social media can damage our mental health, which is not surprising given the excessive stimuli, the constant competition for attention, and the impact on self-esteem. Although social networks can be useful and fun, they amplify human noise, presenting a superficial and mass-produced form of interaction. It's an addition to the already turbulent media landscape designed to grab our attention. As chosen ones, ignoring this chatter by disconnecting from our smartphones and televisions can help us regain our inner peace. Imagine the dramatic reduction in stimuli and the silence that arises when we silence the thousands of voices that normally clamor for our attention. In doing so, we stop being controlled by technology and become like wise souls, sitting quietly by a river, in tune with our true selves and the divine guidance within us. Of course, we don't have to be extremely radical about this. Balance is key. It's important to find a middle ground 
where we can still enjoy the benefits of technology without allowing it to dominate our lives. Taking the time to disconnect allows us to focus on what really matters and nourishes our spirit. While it's crucial to take breaks and live mindfully, it's equally important to stay informed and inspired. Watching content that aligns with your values and supports your journey as a chosen one can be beneficial. So feel free to take advantage of the valuable insights and guidance offered on this channel, but also remember to take breaks to live fully and connect with the world around you. As a chosen one, you often encounter people who try to bring you down with insults and unconstructive criticism with the main aim of discouraging you. Initially, it may seem oppressive, but over time, you learn to ignore these negative influences and accept that visibility often attracts negativity. We are affected by insults and negative opinions because we worry about what others think of us. This preoccupation with the opinion of others, with our reputation in their eyes, and with the desire to be liked, seems to be a natural and learned behavior. The challenge with this desire to be liked by everyone is that we have no control over who will like us or not. Haters will hate, and there's nothing we can do about it. We can get angry, argue, or try to change them. But often the wisest course of action is to ignore them. Ignoring people requires less energy, costs less attention, and avoids being drawn into exhausting and pointless arguments. Most opponents don't want to change. They just want attention. Understand that each person has their own beliefs, perspectives, and ways of acting, and these characteristics are deeply rooted. Change can be a slow and complex process, requiring willingness and personal effort. Instead of waiting for people to change, it's more productive to manage your own expectations and focus on your responses. By doing so, you can achieve more realistic and positive results in your challenging interactions. It's important to remember that ignoring people doesn't mean being rude or counterproductive. On the contrary, it's a powerful tool for preserving your mental health. By directing your attention away from negativity, you consciously protect your emotional well-being. Imagine visiting a busy market. In these places, some people tend to behave rudely, push you around and use abusive language. If we go there expecting this behavior and try to stay calm, we'll realize that achieving this goal means not letting these actions bother us. Similarly, having an online presence, such as a YouTube channel, naturally exposes you to trolling and criticism. It's part of the territory when you put yourself on the internet. Therefore, welcoming these people as part of the job builds resilience. After a while, Nasty comments appear like flies passing by on a summer's day, a little annoying at best, and unworthy of getting angry about. By adopting this mindset, you can stay focused on your divine purpose, unaffected by the negativity that tries to bring you down. Consider the daily interactions we have in real life. Perhaps a co-worker constantly undermines your ideas, or a family member always finds something negative to say about your achievements. These are the daily detractors we encounter offline. As with online criticism, the best approach is usually to let the comments go unnoticed. Engaging with them can drain your energy and distract you from your goals. Think of driving in traffic. There will always be aggressive drivers who cut you off or honk impatiently. Responding to their aggression can aggravate the situation and ruin your day. Instead, staying calm and focused on driving keeps you safe and stress-free. This same principle applies when dealing with negative people in your life. By not reacting to their provocations, you maintain control over your emotions and actions. When facing criticism, whether online or in person, remember your purpose and the reasons behind your actions. Stay true to your inner guidance and trust that you are on the right path. Your journey as a chosen one is unique, and not everyone will understand or support you. That's okay. What matters most is your commitment to your divine mission and your ability to overcome negativity.
As you've chosen, our attention is a precious commodity in today's world. Companies want our attention to promote their products. Social media influencers crave it to increase their popularity, and TV channels seek it to generate advertising revenue. Our employers demand our attention, time, and energy to help them profit, often giving us only a small share in return. Human attention translates into money, and we often waste it. We give it to silly TV shows, pointless conversations that lead nowhere, scrolling through Instagram profiles of people we don't even like, and feeling depressed because their lives seem to be more successful than ours. The more we devote our attention to others, the less we have to spend on things that really matter to us. What about our dreams and ambitions? What about our creative activities? These things require dedication. They require us to isolate ourselves from others, at least for a while, so that we can give them our full attention. When I started this channel at the beginning of the year, I isolated myself from people online and offline for most of the day. I didn't want anyone interfering with my work, as every interaction could disrupt my focus. I also refused to listen to skeptics, even if their doubts came from a good place. By isolating myself from distractions and human opinions, I was able to create something that I consider a success. But I'm not the only one who has harnessed the power of ignoring people to drive creative activity. History is full of individuals like J.K. Rowling, who isolated herself in cafes to write the Harry Potter series, and Nikola Tesla, who worked in isolation to invent and discover innovative technologies. And let's not forget the example of Noah, who ignored the skeptics and completed his divine task. Consider the biblical example of Moses. Chosen to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, he faced immense opposition and doubts, not only from the Egyptians, but also from his own people. Despite the negativity and skepticism around him, Moses remained focused on his mission, relying on his faith and inner guidance. By ignoring the pessimists, he was able to perform miracles, lead his people to freedom, and receive the Ten Commandments, which had a lasting impact on humanity. In the same way, David, before becoming king, ignored the doubts and fears of those around him when he faced Goliath. His own brothers and King Saul doubted his abilities, but David trusted in his divine purpose and inner strength. By ignoring the discouraging voices, he defeated Goliath with a single stone, demonstrating that faith and focus can overcome even the greatest challenges. In more recent history, consider the example of Mahatma Gandhi. Chosen to lead India to independence, he faced immense criticism and opposition, not only from the British rulers, but also from his own country. Despite the constant barrage of negativity, Gandhi remained steadfast in his commitment to nonviolence and civil disobedience. His ability to ignore his detractors and focus on his mission ultimately led to India's independence and inspired civil rights and freedom movements around the world. Another historical figure who exemplified this principle was Harriet Tubman. As the chosen leader of the Underground Railroad, she faced enormous danger and skepticism. Many doubted her abilities and questioned her methods, but she ignored these voices and remained dedicated to her mission of freeing enslaved people. Her courage and unwavering focus led to the liberation of hundreds of people and left an indelible mark on history. In the field of science, Albert Einstein, one of the greatest minds of the 20th century, often faced skepticism and criticism from his peers. His theories challenged the established scientific norms of his time. However, Einstein ignored the doubts and remained committed to his research. His perseverance led to groundbreaking discoveries that fundamentally changed our understanding of the universe. As chosen ones, these examples remind us of the power of focusing on our divine purpose and ignoring the distractions and negativity that come our way. By doing so, we can accomplish great things and make a significant impact on the world. Our attention is valuable, and by protecting it, we ensure that it is spent on activities that align with our higher calling 
and bring us closer to fulfilling our destiny. As chosen ones, we often come across the superficiality of relationships on social media. You can have thousands of followers and connections, but not even one real friendship. Many people also have several superficial offline relationships, without depth or meaning. They spread their attention too thinly among many, rather than focusing on a select few. This diversification works well for investments, but is it really beneficial for socializing? It depends on what we're looking for. It's fine if we settle for countless friendships and superficial acquaintances who are only good for small talk or boosting our reputation on social media. Perhaps some even see their spouse only as a trophy or a means of obtaining financial benefits, which may be acceptable with mutual consent. But imagine the loneliness of meeting so many people, calling many of them friends, being married to a trophy spouse, and yet having no genuine confidant in difficult times. Consider the analogy of a philosopher who compared human relationships to hedgehogs. If we get too close, we can enjoy each other's warmth, but also stab each other with our sharp spines. There is truth in this analogy. Close relationships can be very rewarding, but they also bring challenges. If we want to build deeper bonds with people, relationships that involve trust, companionship, tolerance, mutual acceptance and growth, we must be selective. Building deep connections is almost impossible if we try to befriend everyone. We wouldn't have enough time and attention to devote to these intimate relationships. So what's the solution? Ignoring many allows us to get closer to a few. By choosing to focus our attention on a select group, we can cultivate deeper relationships. These connections are invaluable, providing support, understanding, and companionship that superficial relationships cannot offer. As chosen ones, we should prioritize the quality of our relationships over quantity, ensuring that we surround ourselves with those who really matter and contribute to our spiritual and personal growth. So, my friends, ignoring people may not always seem like the friendliest approach, but as chosen ones, we have the right to be selective about who we communicate with and who we give our attention to. Our attention is precious. The way we use it significantly determines our quality of life and our feelings. Let's not hesitate to turn off our phones, leave emails and text messages unanswered for a while. Ignore the influence of social media influences, and essentially choose not to give attention to everyone who demands it. As the saying goes, ignorance is bliss. Sometimes choosing not to engage with certain people or situations can bring us the peace and clarity we need to thrive. Let's embrace the power of selective attention and use it to improve our lives and the lives of those we are meant to touch. Thank you for watching and being part of this journey. Embrace your right to be selective with your attention and find the balance that brings you closer to your true self and your divine purpose. Share your thoughts in the comments below. How do you manage your attention and maintain balance in your life? Have you found peace by ignoring certain negative influences? Let's discuss and support each other on this path. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Until the next video, 